All right, whenever you're ready. Okay, so when you hear someone talking about the happiest place on earth, I'm pretty sure all of you guys can assume Disneyland, right? So with the way that, well, obviously we come to school in Orange County, so we all have the luxury to know that Disneyland is down the street, literally. Uh, so today I would like to explain why investing in a Disneyland annual pass is uh, totally worth the amount of money you're going to spend. So the three points that I would like to talk about today are like the four different passes that Disneyland offers as well as their prices and the perks that come with it, the number of pass holders that Disneyland has, and the different attractions that Disneyland offers. So first off, I would like to talk about the different passes. Uh, there's a <coughs> website called the Disney Tourist Blog, and it explains all four of the passes. The first pass, which is the cheapest pass, is called the SoCal Select. Uh, in total, it comes out to be $299. Although it sounds like a great deal and it's so cheap, uh, there's a significant um, number of blackout dates, but it's still valid for 170, 170 days, according to this website. Uh, the website also states that these blackout dates include every Saturday and Sunday, plus busier times of year like summer and weeks during the holidays. So although it's cheaper, you're not going to get as many times to go to Disneyland as you may have liked. Um, according to the Disney website, the second pass is the Southern California pass, and that is the 200. Or it allows for 215 days to both of the parks. Um, right now, it only is available if you want to renew your pass, so you can't start a new payment plan. Uh, so back to the Disney Tourist blog, the next pass it talked about was the Deluxe Pass. So this pass is valid through 315 days per year, but the parking isn't included as well as the other two passes, the parking is not included. In total, this pass comes out to be $549, um, but obviously there's the payment funds as well. So the last pass that Disneyland offers is the Premium Pass. Uh, this pass, according to the website, has no blackout dates and includes parking and higher discount rates. Uh, the website also says that 5 to 10% of the higher discount is um, allowed with this pass. So opposed to the other ones, this is 5 to 10% more on food and merchandise. So the second point I would like to talk about is um, from a source I got. It's called the effects of annual pass holders on the Disneyland Resort infrastructure. And it states that um, the ever-expanding base of annual pass holders is now up to 850,000 people, and it's still growing. So even though that the prices are constantly increasing for Disneyland, the people are still buying passes. Uh, so my last point is, uh, you guys are probably wondering, yeah, if you get a pass, you're going to have a whole year. What there, Was there really that much to do at Disneyland that you need a whole year to do it? Uh, so one day park hopper, according to the Disneyland website, is uh, $155. So you're going to spend $155 for one day at Disneyland that you probably can't do everything in that one day. <coughs> uh, so the website also states that there's 83 attractions, 31 entertainment shows and performances, and 95 different places to eat. So obviously you can't eat at 95 different places in one day. You can't go to 83 different rides, especially you guys, I'm pretty sure, know that the lines are a lot of the time horrible. And you can't watch all 31 shows in one day with $155. So investing in the past year, you're going to get both parks and you get to do different things on different days. And hopefully within that year, if you find out right, you can do everything. So today I talked about the different passes and the prices. Uh, I've also talked about how many people actually spend their money and buy these passes, as well as um, the different stuff that you guys can do at Disneyland. So if you guys are on the fence of buying a pass, uh, maybe this helped you a little bit to make your decision. And if you weren't, maybe you can consider getting a pass.
So Gloria, share your thoughts with us, please. Okay, so, okay, I was just about to say, you say so a lot, but I, I start off with so, but, uh, so you said so a lot, and then I noticed when you're nervous, you kind of take a step forward and then take a step back, and that kind of was distracting throughout your speech. Um, I thought you had a good preview, but when you talked about the passes, I wasn't really convinced to get a pass until you talked about the last one, because you talked about a lot of the buts with the first passes, like, oh, you don't really get that many dates, and you know, you can't really go around the holidays, so it wasn't super convincing until you talked about the, the premium pass, I think. And um, you talked about all the discounts you can get and how there's no blackout dates, so I thought that, that was when your speech started getting stronger. I liked that you talked about how many, like, how the cost is always, or the amount of people getting the pass is always growing, even though the price is so high. And then I like that you listed out that there's 31 shows and 95 places to eat food, so you're not gonna have enough time if you just get, like, a ticket and go, and you should get a pass so that you can go throughout the year. I thought that was good to do because then it makes you want to like try out all these places and see all the shows. Um, I thought that it was short, so maybe you could have bulked it up by adding your personal experience because I know you said that you had a Disneyland pass. Uh, but overall, I thought it was good. I like Disneyland, so I liked it. <laughs> Well, it, it basically has an informative structure with a persuasive claim at the end that you ought to sort of make the uh, commitment to getting a pass. Uh, I don't think that you do much to sell the idea of the pass. You tell us what the pass options are, but we don't really get uh, much reason except for that one section when you start <coughs> listing all the rides. Shows and attractions. Sorry. <laughs> now this, and that's the place where I think you need to get <laughs> some of that emotional investment into the presentation. You know, can you imagine going to Disneyland and not seeing Fantasmic? I mean, what would be the point of spending a whole day there and not seeing the greatest show in the history of the world? And you know, blah blah blah. Or, you know, would it be disappointing if you went to Disneyland? And you got on three rides because it, you spent two and a half hours in each line. You know, kind of depressing to think that I spent $155. That's, you know, $50 to ride uh, Space Mountain, $50 to ride the Pirates, Pirates of the Caribbean, and $50 to get on Big Thunder Railroad. And, you know, those are good rides, but they're not $50 worth every time you do it. And that's exactly what you do if you don't have uh, a pass and can take advantage of going multiple times. And let's face it, you live here in Southern California. Everybody wants to go to the beach, but you can't go to the beach every day of the year. But you can go to Disneyland every day of the year if you get the right pass. And here's the pass that would get you those kinds of things. I mean, you gotta sell this a little bit, and I don't think you're doing much selling. I think you're mostly just describing what the pass options are. Think of the, well, the premium pass, that's the ultimate one, right? Yeah. You know, you go to Disneyland uh, <coughs> four or five times in the year on the other passes, you'd have paid as much for parking as you would have for a single day pass, park opera pass, one time. Get the premium pass, you can go 100 times, and that's like saving $2,500 on parking because you, know, you didn't have to pay 25 bucks every time you went into the parking lot at Disneyland. You were already covered on that sort of thing. I mean, there's just so much more that you can do to kind of sell this idea and put some energy into the presentation. I think that that's like lacking a little bit. I'll agree with uh, Gloria on some of the other comments. <coughs> Excuse me. About the presentation. We'll stop there. Thank you.